Hi, welcome to my home and another recipe from my first cookbook. We're going to make shrimp salad with quinoa and arugula. My trainer David introduced me to quinoa and I've never looked back. It's fulfilling, it's delicious and very versatile. And this is one way that I use it. So let's get started. So for this amazing recipe, we're going to start with our shrimp salad. First you'll need salt, a half a lemon cut into slices, two pounds of shrimp, a half a cup of mayo, a quarter cup of light sour cream, a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of white wine, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of minced dill, a quarter cup of diced shallots, one cup of diced celery, one cup of rough chopped avocado, and here we go. Well first we're going to start with the dressing so it has time to set up and have all the flavors mingled together. We're going to take a half a cup of mayo, about a quarter cup of sour cream, a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, that'll really spice it up, about a tablespoon either white wine or white wine vinegar, and then we're going to add our dill fresh dill. I love it. It smells so nice. And we're going to add a little salt, a little pepper. And we're going to mix this all in. Now like any dressing, I like to taste it before I add it to the food. Not bad. Now that we're done making our dressing, we're going to set this aside, let the flavors mingle, put it in the fridge, and start on the shrimp. Got my water boiling for my shrimp with a little bit of salt and lemon slices added to the water. You do not want to overcook shrimp. We'll cook the shrimp for about three minutes. I'm going to put my shrimp in some cold water so the shrimp doesn't continue to cook. This way it'll cool it down. And then I'll go ahead and add the other shrimp to the water. Let those cook. Sometimes you do have to do it in two batches like I mentioned earlier because you really don't want your shrimp to overcrowd. You really want them all to cook evenly. And for the remaining ingredients, one cup of quinoa, two cups of chicken stock, a half a tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of fresh parsley roughly chopped, 12 grape or cherry tomatoes cut in half, and a bunch of arugula getting done kind of getting that raw grain taste out of it. My quinoa is now toasted, so I'm going to add about two cups of chicken stock, a tablespoon of olive oil, and then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Let's turn our heat down on our quinoa, put our lid on, and let that continue to cook. While we're waiting for the quinoa to cook for about 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and devein our shrimp and peel them and then add them to our salad dressing that we made earlier. The shrimp is cooled down, but it still has the tail on, still has these little leg things. So you just gently pull the tail off. You kind of peel this from the cut end, take that off. Well, the one thing I love about shrimp, it's another food that is so versatile. When you're eating together with people, family, friends, maybe new people you're bringing over to your house, who knows? That's always a special time. Now that I have peeled and deveined the shrimp, I've gotten the dressing out of the refrigerator, but first I'm gonna add the other ingredients to the salad, which is the avocado, the celery, and the shallots. This is about two tablespoons of shallots and about a cup of celery. You can add more or less if you so want. And now we're gonna add the dressing. Gently mix this all together. You can always add more dressing, but you definitely can't take it out. So just add a little bit at a time. So I've just got done cooking the quinoa. I placed it in a bowl. And now I'm gonna add the parsley. This is flat leaf parsley. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. And about a teaspoon of garlic. You know me and garlic. And now I'm just going to mix that in a little bit. 
gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper just for taste. And now we're ready to plate the salad. I have my three main parts, arugula, quinoa, and the shrimp salad. And what I'm gonna do first is plate the quinoa. Now I'm gonna sprinkle on the arugula. Yeah, I love arugula. It's got that little peppery bite to it. I think that's about enough. And last, we will plate the shrimp salad. I think it just looks so good. You can garnish it with a couple of the leftover tomatoes that you have. And here you go, you have shrimp salad with quinoa and arugula. Enjoy. And remember to check back soon for some more recipes. And don't forget to pick up your copy at any online retailer or bookstore. Till next time.